Hey everybody, today I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to be doing experiment number two. I'm gonna be doing a kiss pour um, with the Deco Art Satin Enamel Pure White. I did one already um, on a smaller one and it, it kind of didn't turn out right because I think it was just too small of a canvas, too much paint, it didn't really get to uh, the paint didn't really get to move around as much as I would have liked it to. So um, I'm going to attempt to do that on a bigger canvas today. Also, today I am using my new camera. Um, got it for my birthday and Mother's Day. Uh, my birthday was on Mother's Day this year. So um, normally um, my husband and the kids don't combine gifts, but because... You know, that one was a little uh, pricey. They all kind of went in and got me several things. I got a really nice tripod. I got um, a memory card reader. I got a bunch of gadgets. So I'll be doing some uh, videos with those too. Um, so yeah, so I, I'll be messing around a little bit with the focus also because I'm, like I said, this is going to be the first video you guys are going to see actually I've done. Uh, a couple other practice ones, but um, hopefully I got it down pretty good. So with that being said, we're going to get started and the colors that I'm using today, I've got the um, Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. I've got the Fine Touch Yellow Medium. I also have the Fine Touch and this is Thalo Turquoise, and then I have Navy that I make myself, and then of course the Deco Art, I already said, the Pure White. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my lids off real quick of my bottles, because I just, I'm using the ones in the bottles I already have mixed up for this one. All right, I'm gonna start with white in the bottom of each one. And all my paints are mixed with Liquitex pouring medium, um, Floetrol and water. And I did not add any silicone So, or alcohol either. I didn't add any of that. All right, so I'm going to put the navy next. And I'll put a little more white. Now the magenta. Um, I think I guess I'll just go with yellow on top of that one. I'm going to add a little bit more white on the top of that. Okay. Get those moved. Put my gloves on. All right, so now I'm going to switch like that. I'm going to bend it just a touch, right like that. These paper cups work really good for that, so. All right. So here we go.
Okay guys, we're gonna go in for a close up. Really, really happy with how this looks. We got a lot of the cloud effect. Looks really, really cool. I got a lot over over there, mainly in the mainly in the turquoise color. But these colors right here are just so <laughs> they're so vivid and bright. I thought about maybe dumping more of of this over, but I didn't want to lose all of this. This is really, really kind of soft, and then it just gets really, really vivid right through here. So I'm really, really happy, super happy with the outcome. Um, I would say that this was um, a success, um, and you can get the um, cloud effect by doing the kiss pour. So that's cool. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I will be back and show you. All right, stay tuned. Okay guys, so here it is. It's all dry and it looks amazing. These colors and the detail. Oh, I just love it. It didn't really change too much. Um, so I'm super excited and happy about that. I think my experiment was a success. So I'm super happy about that. I just love like the colors right here. Just looks amazing. All right. So there it is all dry. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my links in my description, and have a great day.